Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you today how to update uh, the Albion series libraries. Uh, this is fairly straightforward. It's very, very similar to updating the BML series and the uh, PP series, but um, just for the sake of completeness, we'll go through this. So you can see that there is an update in my um, available section here for Albion Volume 2, Logia. And I'm going to, uh, I've selected that and I'm going to download it. Now, I'm going to choose where I put it and I'm going to put it on the desktop here. I've got uh, a folder on my desktop, Logia Update Downloaded to here. And so I've selected that and I'm going to click download. You can download, you can update straight into the uh, library folder. And if you choose to do that, remember that you must select um, as your download location, the containing folder. In other words, the folder that contains your Spitfire Logia library folder, um, because the downloader will look inside the folder you select to find the library folder. Um, and if you wanted to update straight into the library folder, then the first thing you must do is to rename your instruments folder legacy, Oops. Um, which I will do now uh, just so that we're running both possibilities parallel. You'll see that I've also got some old an old copy of patches in here. It's fine to keep the old patches if you want to uh, have them as a reference, but it's essential um, that you uh, don't have an instruments folder um, called instruments in the existing library folder when you start the updates because otherwise you'll get both sets of instruments um, at the same time and that'll become confusing. So we're downloading the updates here. Um, it's quite a quick one because it's uh, there's no sample content in this update. It's just um, all, all script and instrument updates. So we'll wait for that to come down the pipe. And that says installed. So if we have a look in here, let's see what we've got. So there's a couple of things that we don't need to copy over. So you'll see that the Logear info NKX, we already have that. So you don't need to worry about that. That's the same file. We have a new script here. So we're going to drag that over. I'm just going to copy so it doesn't delete it from the, from the original location so you can still see everything. We're going to drag over our instruments file. And as you see, we've renamed the old one to legacy instruments. You could change that to uh, legacy version 3.0 instruments or whatever your, um, whatever your previous version was. We've got our info file and I'm just going to overwrite the info file. Um, occasionally that will have some new uh, data inside there and you'll see that there are it's mainly wallpapers and things like that and I'm going to drag over the documentation this is just um, up, update information so we can replace that quite happily so the key things to remember when updating before you do anything rename your old instruments folder to legacy instruments or legacy 3.0 or whatever your old version is um, so that when you update either directly into the folder using the library manager or via this um, downloading to a separate location and copying over, then you will ensure that um, the new instruments folder is just the new instruments and that it doesn't contain existing um, instruments as well. Sometimes they'll be overwritten, but if we've changed the name slightly um, of any of the files in here, then you'll end up with both the old named files and the new files and that can become confusing so that's the best way to do it as I say there's no sample content update in this um, the if you did have sample content update in any in any of your um, updates then obviously you would need to ensure that you open the samples file here and just copy over the new files over here so that you don't just drag it over because you'll delete all of your old samples so that's it we're updated now and um, we're at version 3.2 with Logear now, um, but I will leave this up. This will be a kind of generic how to update Albion series libraries. This applies to Albion 1, Albion 3 as well. Um, and so that explains everything about, that you need to know about updating. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.